Hello, welcome to this next Marvelous Designer tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to make uh, like a chef's outfit. Um, you know, if you're um, new to the channel, welcome. I hope you learned something. And if you're uh, one of my regular viewers, uh, thank you for your support. And you know, I really appreciate you. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, so let's get an avatar in here. I'm going to use my Daz Genesis GA avatar here. Somebody uh, mentioned that. Uh, asked me if I'd made my own. Uh, no, I, I'm not an organic modeler. I'm not very good at it. Uh, looks like something more out of a 1970s uh, space monster sci-fi rubber suit kind of thing. Um, so uh, I'm going to start with the pants here and as usual with that I'm going to start with a measure. So I'm going to use the basic circumference measure. And I'm going to zoom in and click a point somewhere around the center of the body there where I want the waistband to be. And then uh, if I try and do this freehand, like do, you know, draw a line, uh, draw my second point there. So I'm going to get this diagonal line. So let me just undo that. So click a point and then move to the left or right and then press shift to constrain your um, mouse pointer. And then click again and then let go of shift and then just give it a naturalistic angle because generally speaking they're not you know completely horizontal around there is an angle front to back okay so now we've got that measurement we know it's 781 millimeters here so we can create our rectangle piece so if i click here and type 781 and perhaps give it 40 depth and then click ok so that's appeared in the um, viewport and then back to the measure tools and we want attach measure to avatar so i'll click on the measure and then click on the edge that i want to connect it to and then if i press space it's going to wrap around the avatar now it's not going to be perfect first time we need a segment sew around the back just to sew the ends up to get it into place so if i now Activate my, oops, did I undo that? I think I might have undone that. There we go. So press space, there we go. That's pulled together. And now I'm just getting around the back and making sure that kind of seam line is in the middle somewhere. Okay, so that's gonna keep our waistband where it is. It's not gonna ride up, it's not gonna slip down. You know, it's a good fit. We're uh, happy with that. So I'm just going to turn my sim off with the space bar and then double click on my avatar and under the skin offset I'm going to take this down to one so that it uh, doesn't leave quite such a gap between the avatar and the clothes. So if I press space there you'll see that snapped in a little bit. Okay so now I want to create one side of the leg. So I'm going to select the bottom edge, right click and split select uniform split into two pieces and then click OK and now I know I need 390.5 so I'm going to select my rectangle just left click into the viewport 390.5 did I say I did there we go and I'll make it 500 for now uh, we'll adjust that in a moment or two okay so that's there and if I now sew this up with a segment so there we go you'll see the seam lines are going in there to get it into place I'm just going to press shift and F for the um, arrangement points and I'm going to select an arrangement point somewhere around her leg and then just click on it to get the gizmo up and bring it up there we go press space and it will sew and now we can do some shaping okay so as you can see this isn't hanging vertically down and i don't want it all to be hanging down just down to just below her uh, crotch there or crutch whatever it is so if i click a point around there that will appear in blue on my pattern and i can switch to the add point and just add a point there and i'll add a point at the back as well and now with the edit pattern tool it's going to grab this one 
and move it out a little until it's around about vertical from the center and I'll do a similar job for the back go around and have a look that needs a little more there we go somewhere around there you see it's pulled whoops the sim wasn't running just set the sim running see it's pulled around a little bit so I'm just going to adjust that and then we'll sew it uh, we'll sew the legs up rather so let's sew those up whoops see my seam lines in there and that gathers up quite nicely there's probably a little adjustment to be made there uh, shortly but that's a good start so we'll just duplicate this to the other side so right click symmetric pattern with sewing and then click off to the other side it never quite works um, never quite get it right but I'll just move it back in and then because this waistband isn't symmetric uh, it's not sewn up the uh, the leg to the waist so I'll just sew those up and then we'll sew front to front and back to back and press space and now we have a very short pair of trousers or a knee length pair anyway <coughs> okay so let's uh, just finish off the legs here I'm going to select this one right click and uh, offset as pattern outline and then we'll give that say what, 300 maybe need a bit more than that let's try 400 let's overdo it rather than under and click OK and press space let it settle sometimes I go a bit too far there but that's OK and then with your segment sewing just sew the legs up and press space and we have a not bad pair of slacks really there we go okay so we're going to do some more to these just to make them a little bit more uh, a little bit better fitting uh, but we'll do that in the next section so I'll talk to you then hello and uh, welcome to this next bit uh, so we're going to adjust these pants now and you'll notice that if you look at the back you may have it pulling down here and that's because this line on the back of the pants is too short um, it's being pulled and is stretching the uh, the waistband down so what we can do to lengthen that is just pop a curve in so if I pop a little curve in there and I have oops let's that finish I have a similar problem at the front so I'm going to pop a little curve in there as well there we go and when I press space you'll see that that has straightened up a bit and this has straightened up a bit but not so much now we used the curve tool there so this is now a curved line uh, which means we have these curve handles so with this curve handle I'm just going to pull this one down a little bit and that's going to just stretch it out and then I'm going to press space and adjust and then I may do that one more time and press space and there we go that's pretty good so it's not perfect uh, this we this bit here I think could perhaps come down this line perhaps even make it a little longer and press space and now we're really getting there it still needs to be a little bit longer unfortunately so I'm just tweaking it's rare that you know you might adjust you get it uh, but you know with a bit of perseverance you'll get there uh, another thing is you can do actually just to extend those lines uh, kind of universally is just to grab the bottom point and bring it down just a touch there we go so that's barely pulling on that at all I've got no poke through down here that's all good the one thing I do want to check is that there's not too much gap between the body and the uh, the crotch there so with this piece selected I'm going to right click and hide that pattern and there I can see that yeah that's it's it's too low for me really too low for my liking anyway so <laughs> I need to pop these back up a bit and press space 
and now that's nice and tight it's not uh, too close on the bump but that's okay so I'm just going to right click now uh, in a bit of blank space and uh, I should have show all patterns here there it is there we go okay so I do have a bit of poke there um, but that might be my horizontal uh, so this is the back so I'm going to grab this one and actually move it to the left so there's always you know different ways of uh, making it work you just have to find you know the way that works for you essentially so you know moving points up or down left or right can extend a line you know changing the curve can extend a line and you know a lot of the time that's what <laughs> yeah that's what i spend my life doing well not my life just my working 3d life there we go so they fit much better now um I'm not going to do any more on these I don't think because uh, I'm going to have like a t-shirt over the top of this and then an apron over the top of that so I'm not actually going to see anything under here so there's no need for me to put a zipper in or anything like that okay so next then we'll start on the shirt let's just pop those over to one side um, so I shall talk to you in the next bit Okay, so let's uh, have a go at the, like a, a t-shirt top kind of thing. So we'll start with the polygon tool. And what I want is to draw to somewhere around there. So I'm going to start up at the neckline and come down just below the hip or just below the waist there. And then come out and up and over the shoulder and then join back up again. There we go. So the reason I'm going down to about there is I'm going to tuck this in, but I'm not going to tuck it in, I'm going to sew it to it um, so that we don't get issues with underlying geometry uh, once this is rigged, pushing through. Okay, so let's symmetrize this one. So right click on this middle line here and unfold with symmetric sewing. And now we've got the full front. And now uh, I'm just going to have a look at this because I think this might be a little low and I think this might be a little far away there we go so let's copy this to start our back pattern so it's copy and mirror paste and just pop it off to the side and now we'll press shift and F to put our arrangement points in I'm going to put the back on the back just move this out of the way so I can see the arrangement points pop that on the front and I'm just going to with shift held down select them both and then just push those down a little bit now we can sew it with the segment sewing tool so side to side there you see that the other one has gone in because it's symmetrized and then over the shoulder there and if I press spacebar that should come in so you see that's sort of bunching up a little bit that's okay for the moment uh, but my armholes are a little low so I'm going to grab those bottom two points and pop them up with shift held down to constrain in my direction that might be a little high so just pop that oops didn't mean to go wonky there let's pop that down a little bit there we go okay so uh, the neck needs a bit of uh, a bit of work so at this point needs to come down a little to give ourselves some space and this one I think needs to go up a little oops I did want to go up there we go okay we'll put a curve in that in a little while uh, but for the moment I'm just having a look around getting my bearings so um, the arms need to be adjusted you see this is kind of poking in there and we'll do that with the curvature tool it's going to pop a little curve in there and we should see that that starts to come out might need a little bit more it does so for that because we've now got a curved line we've got these points here if I select on this end point I can adjust its curve handle 
there we go see that's pulled it out quite nicely it's a little bit of poke there but that's okay um, that's largely because you know we're at quite a low particle distance at the moment so we need the same up here so I've just clicked there to gauge where I might want to bend it and then with the edit curvature tool oops let's click there again just bring that in ever so slightly there we go not bad at all whoops helps if you don't move it John come on okay now to help the arms uh, I want this curve to be consistent and if I with the edit pattern tool select these two lines right click and match up to center I can see that it's a little bit wonky so what I'm going to do is on this pattern if I select that line I'm going to flatten this a bit and bring it in there we go so that I get a nice U shape here and I don't get a little point that's gonna kind of mess me up a little bit there we go that's quite nice I'm pleased with that right so neckline similar we just need to pop a little curve in whoops not like that uh, with the edit curvature tool there we go get a nice U shape with no V in the middle and similarly on the back have to be quite careful with this one uh, I believe I've got a tiny little V in there so I'm just going to select this point and push it up until that goes away let's just press space let it sim there we go okay right one thing that might help me here is to have these flat uh, so what I want to do is select these point ends and right click on them align and we'll go middle and that's just made them the same in you know space and we'll do the same with this one align and middle now this is going to help me put a neck in uh, a neck piece it's going to help me um, line up the front and back and you know have that work nicely uh, which we'll have a go at a little bit later uh, but for now I'm just going to press space and just pull it around a bit um, I want to extend it I haven't got low enough because I've got a gap here uh, so I'm going to grab the back and the front and pull them down just so it is enough and I want to go down a little bit further than the um, than the, the waistband of the trousers because at some point in time I'm going to want it to tuck in and I want there to be enough kind of material there to add some folds okay so apart from that uh, I think I need to change the width a little bit I'm just going to click up here and put the strain map on and you'll see it's very strained around the chest now I can either do that by making the pattern uh, a little bigger uh, or I can do it with uh, warp and weft but for this particular moment I'm going to make the pattern a little bigger because I th I, I personally I generally use the warp and weft for later times in the tutorial now that's hanging much nicely now uh, sorry I don't really mean tutorial I'm in process um, so because that's sort of nicely fitting now or fitting a better around the top it's laying much better down the bottom previously it was being pulled up because it was so tight it was kind of constraining and pulling it upwards uh, but now it's lying quite smooth so let's just grab these pattern pieces I'm going to pop them uh, up here and now we can do some N M2N sewing right so if I go to the M to N M to N is like two different numbers essentially uh, so we're going to do one to four sewing M being one N being four the one being the waistband and then the four being up here 
So if I click on this piece, this is starting round this side, um, and then I can select. Whoops, no, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Sorry. You select your one, and then you press enter. We select two, three, however many you're doing, and then select the ones you want to attach to and press enter again and that will sew them up now whether i've sewed them up correctly is another matter let me turn the strain map off because it's a little bit annoying now so if i bring that up yeah i can see I've, i haven't done it right so i need to be a bit smarter about this so let me delete those uh sewn edges so if I go to edit sewing I can select across the bottom it will select those and then I can delete them so this one I want to sew to this side so this top wants to start actually somewhere around there so M to N sewing is probably not the best idea here uh, I'm better off doing uh, a few different sews because yeah working this out is going to be a nightmare right so that one wants to go to this end right so if I use my free sew tool instead and sew from there to there I can then sew from there to there and you'll see that that seam comes in right and similarly this side is going to go from here so if I sew from there to there sorry <laughs> from there to there I can sew from there to there and that will be perfect so the front then so this is this side that's this side of the um, of the waistband so from there to there I start from the end of that sewing line until the blue dot and because this is wider I'm going to end up with a little bit of strangeness going on here uh, so if I do from there to there I could go from there to there uh, which isn't quite enough so I'm just going to edit my sewing here I want to edit this line am I edit sewing? yes I want to grab the green seam line I'm just going to move it this way a little bit I'm going to grab this seam line and move it that way a bit just to even them up a little bit there we go so now that's all sewn together I press space and pull it down so it fits I'm a little bit far up there something's not quite behaving right there we go so now we've got a little bit of a tuck there which we can use to you know add a little bit of interesting kind of you know an interesting realistic kind of detail to you know sell the illusion as it were right just pulling this around where I see it uh, perhaps straining a bit yeah, that needs to come up there we go there we go there we have kind of a sleeveless t-shirt and when we come back we're going to put some sleeves on this and then uh, start working on detail so I'll talk to you then okay let's turn the uh, texture back on now I've got her all covered up whoops wrong one there we go okay so we're going to put some arms on this and what I want is to basically know I don't know what I did there I don't, whatever I did I didn't want to do it right so I'm edit pattern there we go so that's 193.8 and it's corresponding back piece is 194.8 so that's 388.6 so what I want is basically a rectangle somewhere around there and then I want to put a curve in so if I go to edit curvature and have a look at this I want this line to be 388.6 so I'm going to get it close uh, 380.96 there we go so if I want this to be 388.6 I'm just going to go to edit pattern right click and set my distance uh, change length 
at both ends and then I can type 388 whoops not that much 0.6 there we go and click OK and now that line is you know kind of the, the same length and now we just need to get it in place and sew it on so shift F and pop it in place and shift F to turn uh, our thing off and now I want to basically sew this line from bottom to top with the free sew tool so free sewing bottom to top and then assuming that is the corresponding part which it is I'll then free sew to that line and then if I do the same at the other side so bottom to top bottom to top that should all sew up nicely and if I press space there we go we have a sleeve it's a little bit long uh, so let me just reduce that size a little bit I don't want it to be you know particularly uh, you know crazy long and then whoops that's not the tool I wanted the segment sew tool I just sewed side to side there we go now we have one of our sleeves just going to give it a nudge here and there I think I might have this a little tight up here let me pop the strain map on where's the strain map gone there it is yeah around the neck is a little tight it's all right at the edges but not the uh, the neck I think I might uh, pull up with it frankly uh, okay so let's turn that strain map off So if I now select this piece, I can right click, do a symmetric pattern with sewing and pop it in. Now I put it there because I'm trying to gauge the distance between these patterns in 2D space and the patterns in 3D space and you'll see I nearly got it right. Uh, so it might take some experimentation uh, but just take some time to try and gauge that because you have to move it less, less guesswork. I don't like guesswork. Okay, right. I think that will come out with the uh, the pattern when I change the particle distance. Don't poke through. There we go. <coughs> okay, so that's the arms on, and now uh, we're going to need some detail. Uh, we want to have, you know, a, a little bit of a neckline and some. Uh, Kind of sewing around the seams or some hems around the sleeves uh, so we'll do that next i think so i'll talk to you then okay so the neckline then let me just move this little beastie out of the way um what i'm going to do is line up the front and the back and if i go to edit pattern i'm going to right click there uh whoops <laughs> I'm going to select that one and shift select that one with left click and then align middle no <laughs> I didn't mean align middle sorry I'm just undoing it's right click and it's match up to centre there we go so now we can see what our neckline looks like and it doesn't really look all that great so let's just do some adjusting so I'm going to pull this forward a bit to give myself a little bit of extra room at the front that's so I don't look like she's choking and I'm going to free that up at the back a bit there we go now what I'm really interested in is these edges so for this one I want that to be a little bit more straight I want this curve to continue and not veer off at an angle so that it's you know nice and straight okay so this one i'm going to push back a little maybe just let that go space there we go and i may shorten that line just a touch there we go okay so the reason for that is i now want to 
right click on these two lines and offset as an internal line and we'll go say 20 millimeters let's give it a good uh, a goodly amount and we want extend and OK now what I want to make sure is that these points add up and match up I don't want them to be um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, at different points because as soon as they go to different points I'm not going to be able to match them up very well it's going to be very difficult to you know make that work so keeping those arm those flat pieces across the shoulder really helps with that okay so now with that I want to cut it out or rather I want to trace it out so I'm just going to move this back where I started so let's find where can I rotate where's the rotate gone up to the top so if I rotate around and just press shift it will constrain and snap to you know, whole angles I'll pop that back down there and now with these I want to um, turn off the symmetrized part the linked editing so remove right click and remove linked editing so actually now uh, for these two I've got two lines here I could do with one and it will be similar on the back let's double click on those and remove um, and now I know that they add up and that they're going to match up I can do them independently so just select them all uh, offsets internal line uh, for 20 millimeters and click OK right so now I want these pattern shapes so what you can do is select each line that makes up that pattern it doesn't have to be you know uh, they don't have to be whole or partial you can have overlapping lines and then up here we have the trace tool and then right click and trace in turn sorry <laughs> trace as pattern and then just pop that up there now this usually happens when someone's not quite meeting the edges and I think I can see there that that is true for that case so I'm going to put these back in and try and find out what I did wrong so if I select these two let's go back to edit pattern again right click offset as internal line it does say extend okay yeah I think it does now right okay let me select all of those lines again and then trace right click on the line trace as pattern and there we go we have a lovely pattern and we can do the same on the back I'm going to double click on that so it's easy to select there we go right click trace as pattern there we go now we have our over pieces now it is possible for me to sew these together uh, so let me go back to my edit pattern and see if it will let me I, it might not sometimes it's a little bit finicky uh, but I try if I can uh, no it's not going to let me I don't think I can do it a bit at a time so in theory I should link that one to that one so right click and merge oh, it's actually going to do it and this one to this one actually they're not quite matching up so I'm not going to do it <laughs> I'm going to chicken out right so let's sew these up so we use free sew tool and I want this to sew to this internal line we made here and similarly this one to this one there we go and then we'll have this one and zoom in are you gonna let me pick that first point no it's not will it let me on this side no okay well, let's do the other one first so that one to that one and then oh, it's really not gonna let me do it that one there we go I just had to zoom in it just wasn't gonna snap for me there we go that one to that one 
that and now because these are off miles in space I can right click on these in 3d space and superimpose over and it will snap into place because I've sewn it and it knows what it's trying to do so we'll do the same for the back there and now I just need to sew up the front to the back which I can do with the segment so so that one to that one and that one to that one let's just zoom in a bit and press space and there we go we've got a little thick piece around the top let's just pull that forward a little bit oops got a little bit of a snag going on there that's okay right now I'm just going to put some internal lines to let it or give it a chance to fold at the edges so all those lines right click offset as internal line and uh, we want it say one millimeter let's put two lines in and click OK and you see those are displaying there at the moment it already looks a bit better and then I want to do the same up here uh, I have all of these little curve points which are annoying because they just make it much harder to then select everything that's why I try and avoid them or well, one of the many reasons I try and avoid them uh, let's right click offset as internal line one millimeter for two and then we'll do the same up the top there come on select <laughs> can't you know you want to whoops there we go right click offset as internal line and click OK there we go I'll just let that sim a little bit it's gonna fuss uh, if it's gonna fuss like this just stop your sim select your top pieces your uh, collar pieces there we go and just put them on layer one for the moment and then press space and that will sort it out you're just telling it you know this is layer one I want this to be above layer zero so it doesn't fight to decide there we go okay so that's that bit again down there is causing me a little bit of grief for poke through but it's not too bad we'll fix that um, so I'm going to repeat that exercise for the sleeves this is going to be much much easier uh, because we don't have a curve involved and these are already symmetrized so right click offset as internal line this time I want 20 millimeters with just one iteration and then OK we're going to select all of the lines involved in that shape so those two and the side lines and then with the trace tool we'll right click on the line and trace this pattern then we'll sew it back to itself and from side to side and then with the piece selected we'll right click on it and superimpose over now it's gone into position we'll pop a couple of internal lines while we're here so top and bottom or bottom and top offset its internal line one millimeter two iterations and click OK there we go and we'll let it sim and then we've got our thicker edge turn the sim off with the space bar and with that piece of pattern selected right click symmetric pattern with sewing and move it out somewhere around there I think oh no miles off <laughs> typical now it's stuck in the body and I've got no chance of seeing it if you select the uh, well you don't have to select it actually if you just press shift a the avatar will hide itself and now I can look inside pick that right click and superimpose over there we go and shift a will bring the avatar back again now those internal lines are probably fooling us a bit they're probably giving us a bit of kind of false information to our eye uh, but we can hide them 
So over here on the garment display, we can turn off show internal lines. And now you can see that it looks like there's real thickness on there. Those, those little edges are really allowing it to push up and away from the underlying geometry. Okay, let's just pull this around a bit. There we go, somewhere around there. So that is essentially the uh, kind of t-shirt part. Um, I may put like a little emblem on there at some point in time, but for the moment that's there. That. And what we'll do next is have a look at the, uh, the last piece, which will be the apron. So I'll talk to you then. Okay then, so let's have a go at the apron. So for the apron, I want to wrap around a bit. So we use the polygon tool. I'm going to start up somewhere around there, just come out down to just above the knee, bring it open. I'm going to take it a little bit wide and then join it back up again. There we go. And then we'll go to select the middle line, right click and unfold with symmetric editing. And now we've got the basic piece. Now this piece is definitely going to go over everything, so I'm going to put this to level 2, um, and that will give me half a chance. So let's pop this to one side, and press Shift F, and then pop it in place. It's going to bring it out a little bit there. And now I need to have a loop around the neck, and I've got to tie it around the back. Okay, so the loop around the neck, I want one long rectangle somewhere around there I think the length I might have to adjust and I'm going to use the rear neck point there to give that a little bit of a curve and then we'll sew it so that piece there this end wants to sew to this side of the garment so I want the free sew tool and and to sew from there to there and then from there to there. Now that might look like it's reversed because of the angle but it's not um, and I'll prove that in just a sec when I do the other side. There we go. Okay and now we need a waistband for uh, to keep it together so I'm just going to draw out some along those lines and wrap it around from the back. So I want to sew here to here. So that's this side to there. So again the free sew tool top to bottom and then point to bottom and we'll do the same on the other side. Top to bottom start to finish. There we go. And let's press space and see how that goes. And of course I'm massively uh, out just going to press space here. I want all of these pieces to be on level 2. So I'm just going to change these layers to level 2. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to reset this by Control Z a couple of times and then putting these back to level 2 again because I shouldn't have done that really. Uh, so this bit around the neck is too long. So I'm going to double click on the middle to get the orange up and this is now going to do a better scale for us. I'm going to make that shorter. And this bit is too long also. So I'll double click on there and make that shorter as well. Press space and now we're far closer. I want this bit to wrap around a little. So I'm just going to tease it out until it does what I want it to. Okay, let's even it up a bit. There we go. I can even make this a little shorter. So double click on the middle, make it shorter, and it will start to pull around on its own. Okay, so this bit's in the wrong place. You know, it needs to be up around her waist. So what I can do for that is just grab these points and move them upwards. Got a shift held down. A little bit more, I think. There we go. I'll press space. 
and now we're somewhere nearer the right place. Uh, this is too loose, so we're going to double click on the middle point and just tighten that up. There we go. Now this piece in the middle here I'm not perhaps going to use. Um, I need to, you know, get something that looks a bit more realistic than that. I'm just putting it in there to kind of get a fit. Okay. Now the other thing, before I uh, stop this particular area, I'm just going to add a new material to this and change this uh, fabric. So currently it's set to custom. Uh, I don't want to use that. I want to use the fabrics in the library. It's the same. It's just I get more information over here. And I want uh, perhaps a heavier nylon. So let's go nylon. What's that? 160, 150. And oh, that's woven. 33. Oh, that's really light. Well, let's go for that one. So rather than being a, uh, you know, exactly the same as the material underneath, I, I want this to be different. I want it to be more, you know, plasticky and so on and so forth. Okay. Oops, this is a little bit lopsided at the top. Probably because this is a little bit lopsided at the back. Okay, right. So next I'm going to create a wrap around, uh, which is going to wrap around her waist and uh, tie up at the front. So I will talk to you then. Okay, so I made this back bit a little thick to start with, so I'm just going to adjust that. And once I've adjusted that down a little bit, that's it's still too big really. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to check the sewing. So if I select that, see this end is too long now, so I just readjust that back up so that seam length isn't crazy. There we go. And when we re-sim, shouldn't do too much. Excellent. Okay, so now I want another piece of about this uh, height. So I'm just going to control C, control V that. And now I'm going to make it a little wider. So double click on the middle and then just extend it out a little bit. And then shift F to get the arrangement points and I'm going to arrange it somewhere around there. Okay, so I think this is too long, so I'll just shorten it and rearrange it. And now I want to attach this to this piece here. And for that I'm going to need an internal line. So if I pop an internal line just off middle here, I'm going to want one for the other side, so I'll do that one there. And now I can sew these up. So Shift F to get rid of those awful arrangement points. And then segment sewing, I'm going to sew that to that. There we go. And now I want a copy of this. So I'm going to right click copy and right click mirror paste. Let that think about it. Yep. And then I'll, whoops, don't need that. Yeah, I'm just going to grab it with the editing tool and then move that over a little bit and then I can sew on the 3D panel from here to here. Okay so this is going to be above everything currently so my apron is 2 so I'm going to put this to 3 and now I'm going to tie it up at the front just temporarily so from that one to that one. That should do the job. Okay, so way too long, of course it is. I always do it too long to start with. Uh, so let's grab both these pieces, double click on the middle, and just shorten them. That's 
gasket in there it's not far off it's not tight enough so just shorten a little bit more just remember you're doing both ends so you know you're probably shortening it far more than you think you are there we go sum it along those lines there right now what I really want to do is add a little piece in here and then have some things coming off it to kind of form something that looks a little bit like a knot. Uh, so I'm going to select this piece, pop that there, and I'll pop this piece over here. So I've got those facing each other. So if I draw a little box in here, and then I'm going to delete my initial sewing. Oops. Edit sewing, not segment tool. There we go. Now I'm just going to sew this little piece into here. There we go. And over the top of this, I'm going to put a slightly bigger piece. So I'm just going to copy it, edit, copy, and paste. And then I'm just going to make it a tiny bit bigger and now I'm going to sew it back to itself so bottom to bottom top to top side to side there we go and if I find this piece over here I can right click and actually let's move this bit a bit closer first this is the underlying piece if I get it, there we go. Just going to pop that in there, somewhere close. Anyway, that wasn't close at all. Somewhere like that, and then this bit, I'll right-click and superimpose. And when I press space, we should get something. Something that is not quite right. Did I reverse something? Have I done something stupid? Yeah, reversing is not too bad. Having that twist in there is quite interesting. Uh, let me look at my sewing, see what I've done. Let's press space to stop that. So, I'm going to hide this piece. This is the top piece. I suspect what I've done is sewn it backwards. So, uh, hide that. Now I've just got this piece. So that's that, and that's that, and this I suspect is entirely the wrong way around. I'm going to reset this to 2D now. Actually, I'm just going to undo a lot <laughs> just to go back before the sim because it's going to make my life much more sensible. Okay, let's hide this piece. Actually, I'm going to deactivate this piece and then hide it. And then move this in. I can see there's something weird going on there. So these two pieces I'm going to reset to 3D because I've put them on an arrangement point. Uh, oh, I can see what I've done now. I put have sewn the top on this one. So let me delete that one and pop that back in. It happens occasionally, you know. You, you're going fast and it you know just needs to be uh, reset right let's do a shift F there and pop that in there let's move it forward and to the side a bit oh come on there we go that's him and that's much better there we go Okay, so now I've got that sorted. I'm going to press uh, space to stop the sim. I'm going to right click and show all 3D patterns. Select this one and then activate it. And then it should go over the top nicely. Now what I'm trying to do with this bit is just to give it a little bit of something, a little bit of thickness or uh, something along those lines. Uh, this one needs to be at probably level four because this waste bit is at level three and this bit needs to be also level three there we go uh, but i don't think it's giving it enough 
it, I don't think I've got enough geometry in there to do it so I'm just going to give it some extra by offsetting some internal lines uh, so let's do it on the knot as well on the over bit so offset as internal line uh, one millimeter it's going to give it a few uh, it's going to give it a fair bit more geometry to work with oh there we go might have been uh, a little bit too much there but never mind <coughs> okay so last of all then I want this to look like it's actually got some ties off it um, I think this is really going nuts at the moment that's ah, alright so let me draw out a couple of pieces so I'll draw out one in that direction I'm not too worried about being too accurate with the width I want one longer than the other and I want that one to go there and that one to go there I'll just zoom out grab those and move them closer if you leave them there they're going to really build up inertia and uh, they'll end up hitting the clothes with some force and that tends to mess things around a bit there we go it's just in space and that's him and now I've got a couple of ties they're not uh, doing especially well because there's <laughs> no near enough geometry for them to kind of flop down yet uh, yeah and also they're not on a layer that's going to help me so let's put those on three until that comes out and I can just give them a, a gentle nudge into place would help if I could actually grab it there we go <laughs> come on might need to go this side so I can see the normal there we go I could make those longer that will give them more weight um, which will help them to hang down a little bit more okay. and when we add some actual uh, some more uh, you know dense geometry to it that will also help because it will give it a chance to bend um, again internal lines are sometimes your friend here because internal lines is essentially adding geometry so if I offset these at say I don't know let's call it three millimeters and we'll have four and then click OK that's going to give space to bend at those areas might need more there so I can do these ones right click oops offset as internal line no and perpendicular line in this case on the y axis no that's not what I want <laughs> sorry I'm just going to delete them start again let's just drag box over the just the lines and delete them select the top right click offset as internal line and this time I'm going to go nuts and put 15 in at that's not 15 millimeters oh goodness three millimeters 15 iterations and click OK that should give me enough and that's at least starting to have enough geometry to uh, to come down don't know what's going on with this one here that's too low let's pull it away it's kind of got some friction on it so it's sticking to the underlying piece okay so uh, work away at that you know give it a go see how you uh, how you get on uh, I'm just gonna pull this around a little bit uh, when we come back we might change some materials we're gonna add in some uh, some colors you yeah, know just so that it's not all pure white and uh, yeah I shall see you then okay so let's uh, adjust some materials let's add a new one to start with and I'm just going to change the color to a, a darkish gray and this one will apply to 
the pants. Actually, you can just select all the pants pieces and then hit this little apply button here. There we go. Uh, so for the apron then, let's just go for a plain color. Uh, we already have uh, that selected. Actually, that's the only bit that's going on there. So let's apply that to those. Oops, I need the top bit as well. Oh, goodness. There we go. And this will have, I don't know, blue perhaps. So let's select uh, blue and take some of the, uh, let's make it sort of dark, a little bit desaturated. There we go. Now we're looking a little bit more like it. Okay, so for the apron pieces, let's select all of those. Just a tip, uh, if you've got things like materials added or particle, particle density is different on certain pieces, you can right click on a piece and select all with, then you've got particle distance layer and fabric. So I'm gonna select fabric and now I can come down here and adjust my particle distance down. So if I adjust that down to 15, that's gonna take a moment or two and then I'll re-sim it and let it settle. It's not, probably not going to settle too much from 20 to 15. But yeah, it will be uh, perhaps... Well, let's be brave and go to 10, shall we? Let the sim run. You'll see your little thing going down here if you get frustrated with it. It's going to pull these around a little just to give them a bit of a nudge but otherwise that looks good right so again right click on a pattern piece select tool with the same property whoops don't know what i've done there that's my little reference for a chef's apron i was looking at uh, so right click select the same property with fabric and these i think i will go to say 15 to start with let it think about it and then press space and there we go we've got rid of that poke through down there it's perfect then the uh, the T right click select fabric and I'll try 15 up there as well see if I can get rid of this poke through on the arms and uh, around the back at the bottom here Press space to let it sim. And wait, and wait, and wait. There we go. That's sorted all that out. There we go. Uh, so other than that, um, I, I did want to put a little kind of sewn patch on this sleeve here. Uh, just one of them. Now for that, uh, the sleeves are currently symmetrical and linked. So I'm going to right click and remove linked editing. And then we'll use a little internal rectangle. I'm going to zoom into my piece. Uh, F will zoom in to the selected piece. I'm just going to put a square in there. There we go. That's a bit big. So with the transform tool, I'll double click in the middle. Oops, possibly. There we go. I'll just make that smaller and smaller. Getting a little bit of distortion on it because of the uh, because of the way the pattern's been pulled around. Essentially, um, you can adjust for it a little bit. If we go to Edit Pattern, I think I could grab that point, just move it in a little bit. You see, it's becoming more square. Grab that one, move it down a bit. There we go. Now it's looking a little bit more like it. I think that needs to come there. That perhaps needs to go down. Not ideal, um, but you know. Now the reason that kept getting poked through all the way through that is because every time I changed that point, um, it recalculated the mesh. It changed how the mesh was uh, built. So just be aware of that. It's nothing too much to worry about. Uh, but it will happen. Okay. Let's pull that down a little. There we go. Sometimes, you know, letting it do that can uh, 
you know, cause a little bit of uh, chaos. Right, so I can double click on this, right click, clone as pattern, and pop the right fabric on it. Actually, this will be a new fabric, uh, which will be a patch. I'll give it a kind of pinky reddy color, and I'll just sew it back to itself. There we go. To give it some leeway around the edges, I'm going to right, uh, double click on the edge, right click, offset as internal line, and this time I just want my one millimeter, perhaps two iterations, not 12, that's crazy. There we go, and OK. If I find that in the 3D, again, if I select that piece and press F, it will or rather focus in the 3D window and press F. It will show me it, and then I can right click and superimpose over. Let it superimpose, which might take a moment, and then press F again, and it should focus on it once more. There we go. I haven't applied that material to it, have I? There we go. Now we can see it. There we go. So now we have a nice kind of chefy outfit and of course you know you can pull it around give it some uh, shape get it to where you want it to be try not to be too vicious with it uh, because the more vicious with it you with it you are the more likely it is to fly off in all directions and cause chaos okay so uh, I haven't added detail much to the apron uh, all the pants, uh, but I've shown you, you know, with the use of internal lines, the sorts of things you can do. So feel free to have an experiment, put some internal lines in, you know, where you think they're going to make a difference and see where you get. Uh, because, yeah, doing things I find uh, rather than being guided can sometimes be a good thing, can give you a good, uh, you know, uh, a good bit of learning. Okay, so that's that. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in another set.